<sighs> All that summer, there was this girl living in the, in the building on the other side of the courtyard from me. Most of the tenants here are immigrants, senior citizens, and nothing against them. But it was nice seeing someone my own age around here for a change. She was gorgeous. She was gorgeous too. Just absolutely beautiful. I think I heard she was apartment sitting for some relative of hers that lives in the building. I don't know my neighbors very well, so I'd see her. The girl, she'd just be lying there by the pool for hours. She'd usually have a book with her, too, but I'd never see what that title was. I'd take a break from coding and go out to get the mail or run around a quarter to the grocery store, and there she'd be lying in this lime, light blue bathing suit, a bikini. Funny, I remember the color. There's not, that's not something I usually think about much about. That was when I was apartment sitting for um, my aunt. She was spending the summer in this elderly um, hostel trip in Greece. And I know I should have stayed here working, but I was on break from school and I had some money saved up, so from the waitressing job that I had, so I figured, why not? I, um, I got so sick of all the wind and rain and snow up here, I just figured it'd be nice being someplace sunny and warm for a change. Um, so I spent just about every single day down by the pool, swimming and reading and just lying there in the sun. Um, and it was just fun goofing off like that. Um, but it was kind of lonely, too. I didn't know anybody in the city. I and the other people in the building, they were mostly these older people, and they pretty much kept to themselves. Except there was this one guy around my age. I'd see him, like, once or twice a day. She really had this really pale skin, too. I mean, even after she got all tanned, after she'd been out there frying all summer, it still had this kind of translucency. I guess that's what you call it. Sometimes I'd be sitting in my apartment working, the hum from the computer, fan, and only sound, and then I hear this kind of distant splash from the pool, and I'd know it was her. She had this particular kind of sound she made when she dove into the water. Kind of, kind of more controlled and graceful than most people. I don't swim much myself. But I glanced out the window, and there she'd be, zipping around like a dolphin or something. He was kind of cute, too, in this shy, bookish sort of way. And who knows, he probably had some real smart girlfriend. Guys like that kind of intimidate me. I never know what to say to them. I uh, heard he works at home doing some kind of computer stuff, and that makes sense because a lot of times while I'm lying there at the pool, I can hear this, like, faint tapping of computer keys from inside his apartment, like insects, maybe, or like a woodpecker way off in the distance. Come to think of it, I'm pretty sure they don't have woodpeckers around there. I don't mean to make this sound too creepy either. I mean, I never bothered her or anything. Her like that, she's already got tons of guys chasing after her. She doesn't need me bugging her, too. So I gave her lots of space. Just let her be. Maybe said hello to her once or twice in the mailboxes. But I kept wishing he'd come over and say hello and introduce himself. Maybe chat me up and ask if I wanted to get a cup of coffee or something. I... Or I could have made us iced tea and we could have just sat there together. I mean... That's half the reason I spent so much time at the pool that summer. I was just waiting for him to bust a move and come on over. But he never did. It was just this one time. And it was it was this really hot day, and I was hurrying off somewhere. And she was lying there like usual, and this towel spread over the concrete. And I remember glancing over there at her. And he was walking by. I was looking over, checking him out, and then he glanced over. And I looked over, and our eyes kind of met for a moment. And our eyes kind of locked for just like one second. 
We both just kind of mumbled hi or something. And we didn't even say anything. But I could see something in her eyes. And I could see something in his eyes. Like maybe some kind of, she kind of recognized me or something. Some kind of recognition or awareness or something there. I, I don't know. And that was it. And that was all there was to it.